What's up everyone? In this video, I just wanted to show you guys a sequence of plays from the championship matchup of the Vikings Club Series between Strafing and Wintgoat that resulted in Wintgoat walking away with the title. So as you can see here, Wintgoat up 7 pretty late in the game, midway through the 4th quarter. Gun bunch on offense, 2nd and 10. Any type of points here is huge to make it a 2 possession game. And what you're going to see defensively from Strafing is it's going to be a 3 deep shell that it's basically kind of a cloud coverage. You're going to see this safety take that third, this safety take the middle third, and then this corner is going to drop and take the right third. And what Strafing does is basically he allocates two defenders to the left sideline on this play. You're going to see this defender shoot out into a flat zone, and then there's a cornerback behind this player screen right there that he actually mans up on the solo receiver in the bunch. And what that does is basically now you're rushing four, you're dropping three, and then you're allocating two to the left flat. So you have two defenders left. Well, Strafing is going to user this guy, and then you'd probably be crazy to not at least have one flat zone on the bunch side of Gun Bunch because there's so many plays that have a guy from the bunch going into the flats. So Strafing is going to drop this guy into a flat zone on the right side. And what this does is it delegates the entire intermediate and short middle part of the field to Strafing's user, and you're going to see how Wintgoat attacks that here. And it's just a byproduct of Gun Bunch being Gun Bunch. Now, Strafing actually has a good setup here because of the fact that Wintgoat does go with a sideline flood on the left, C route, and a backside drag attacking the flat that Ryan does a good job of actually covering up. The problem here is that now it basically turns into an if statement on Strafing's user. If Strafing comes down and attacks underneath on that B receiver running the drag, then Wintgoat hits the post route. If Strafing would have dropped back, and guarded the post route, Wintgo would have hit the underneath route. In this case, Strafing ends up being basically in a lose-lose situation as long as Wintgoat makes the right read. Wintgoat does. He hits the post route on the cut, possession catch, get down for a gain of 19, and that's just the power of Gun Bunch. Now, a few plays later here for Wintgoat, and as you can see, third and 13 from the 35-yard line. Huge play from this spot. It would be a 52-yard field goal, so in salary cap, that's probably pretty dicey. A lot of guys don't like to spend a ton of cap on their kicker, so depending on the kicker that Wintgoat went with, this is probably right on the cusp of his range. So you'd like to get a few more yards to feel really secure about being able to kick that field goal and take a 10-point lead. So what you're going to see, basically two schools of thought, right? You could run the ball, take it to the two-minute warning, or force Strafing to call a timeout, and maybe get a few yards, get in the field goal range, take a 10-point lead. Or you could take the aggressive path, go through the air. Ideally, you get the first down, it takes it to the two-minute warning, and then Strafing has to start expending his timeouts, and essentially one more first down after that would win you the game. So that's kind of the offensive mindset you have if you're Wintgoat. Now, if you're Strafing, what Strafing ends up doing here is he goes out with an all-out cover zero style man-to-man -man blitz, and I actually love that play call because on those two schools of thought, if, Stra if Wintgoat rather, ends up running the ball and you have an all-out blitz, there's a good chance you either hit him in the backfield or give him zero yards, and then it becomes a tough field goal for Wintgoat anyways. Or if Wintgoat decides to go aggressive and pass the ball, there's a chance you sack him and knock him out of field goal range completely, and he either has to go for a, a long like fourth and 20, or he's going to have to punt the ball back to you, and you're going to have a chance to drive down the field and tie it up at, at 35. So that's what you're going to see on defense from strafing here. And the, the crazy thing is that Wintgoat actually goes... He was in the gun trips tight end formation. Now, a little backstory: throughout this game, every play that he called from gun trips tight end, he called two plays. He called PA slot corner twice, and then he called verticals once. Both of those plays have the tight end on a corner route. So up to this point in this game, every play he called out of this formation had the tight end on the corner route. And that's a key thing to note for when you see Strafing's adjustment here. Strafing goes, and the guy that should have been manned up on the tight end, you're going to see right here. He put him in what looks like either a cloud flat or a curl flat, expecting that corner route. Now, in this case, he put him there, obviously, because of the history. Right here, Wintgoat happens to put his tight end. I believe it's Delaney Walker on a streak. Wasn't strafing, obviously, wasn't expecting it. Caught him off guard. He's got his defender out there playing the flat where there's nobody at. So that's a dead defender, essentially. And strafing doesn't realize it quick enough. Wintgoat sees it. Has a lob pass to the outside for Delaney Walker. Walk in, touchdown, go up by 14. And that was really a hole that Strafing wasn't able to dig himself out of. Ended up scoring a touchdown late to make it a seven point game, but ultimately Wintgoat walked away with the Minnesota Vikings Club Series Championship. So 
that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, leave a comment underneath and let me know if there's anything else specific that you'd like to see, whether it be from the Madden Challenge or from a Club Series game. As always, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, guys, take it easy.